and welcome back. It's time for the weekly update. No, that wasn't me in the opening sequence doing a little social distancing while surfing. It was actually Martine from Ventana Surfboards in Santa Cruz, California. And that's what this episode is all about. Project here in Port Townsend is still on hold. It's been shut down for about four weeks now. So I thought I'd take the whole show on the road. I was down in Santa Cruz, California back in February, a couple of months ago, and I was dropping off wood to the guys at Ventana Surfboards. They were one of the earliest partners in the restoration of the project, and I've been supplying them with some of the original hull planking and framing from the very beginning of the project, and they turn it into art. Their company is based on the idea of building hollow core, rideable, usable surfboards out of recycled and reclaimed material, and that is absolutely beautiful workmanship. Most of the footage in this video was actually shot by David Dennis at Ventana, a little bit by my wife while we were down in February, but it is some great footage and I think you're really going to enjoy this video. And stay tuned to the very end. David's daughter, actually with a little bit of help, builds her own board and rides it in the final sequence. This is Martin, step out. I build hollow wooden surfboards made out of predominantly reclaimed sources of lumber. I will use a laser cutter and cut out my internal frames. From there it goes in gluing together the frames and creating a, a rib structure that I can adhere the decks to. You know, I use a basic plywood for the interior structure. It's the strongest and lightest wood for that purpose. From there on, you know, it's, it's basically creating the decks and laminating those to the wooden structure. And then adding the rails. In building a wooden surfboard, you know, your final shape is the first thing that's determined. And from there on, you start adding little bits together until you build out to that final shape. So it's kind of a reverse process. The only real shaping that transfers between foam and wood is essentially turning the rails. Um, so after that's done, then it's pretty similar to a foam board. You know, the board gets glassed. Glass on fins, which is mostly what I do. And from there, uh, sand and polish and hopefully go surf. I, I claimed this one. There's going to be nails down the middle. Boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. So when you get into milling, you're looking for metal. Yeah. But some of this color. <laughs> and it's. Okay, let's get it. Hold on. I think Stop. it's fairly clean on the oil. I think you're mainly looking at just iron oxide into the grain. Yeah. Oak really takes that color really well. Yeah. Some of these gray fasteners going through, they were square four inch long steel nails. So that reacted with the wood, it starts to break the ligna of the wood down. So you get that dis discoloration or delignification of the wood around each fastener. So that's what this extra color is at each spot. And then the black in it is just that iron starting to break down and get sucked into the capillary of the wood going you know, down the structure of it. And I think the red is kind of accentuated. Douglas fir turns red typically with age, but I think it's kind of enhanced with the bottom paint um, on the boat. So this would have been inside of the boat, a little more staining. This would have been outside, a little less staining, uh, bigger holes where the head of the nail was. So. Dried out. 
I always enjoy meeting people that can take creativity to a new level. Martin is one of those people. His creative approach to any new project, combined with his woodworking skills, is really something to be seen. The board you're looking at, if I have the story correct, was built using reclaimed redwood, western flyer framing oak, accent wood from the Santa Cruz guitar scrap wood bin, but probably the coolest single thing were those thinly sliced golf balls. Those are gathered up while snorkeling off the Pebble Beach golf course. I've had a relationship with the guys at Ventana for almost five years now, and I've never seen the same board twice. There's no commentary I could add, so I'm just going to let the footage speak for itself. And then this is redwood out of a wine barrel? This That's is a hot, hot tub. tub. Hot tub. Yeah, so it's a redwood hot tub that's in the mountains, and this is just, I mean, this is pieces of smalted oak from a pallet down below. This is offcuts from a railing in a house in Pleasure Point. Fantastic. An old teak table that Tyler next door gave me. Besides just supplying Ventana with old hall planking so they can build surfboards, we have another collaborative project going with them and that's to build an inlaid turtle into the aft deck of the Western Flyer. But to understand the significance of this, you gotta go back to 1940. On that original trip to the Sea of Cortez, two of the crew members, Sparky and Nea, and Tiny Coletta, they end up killing a turtle on the aft deck early on in the story, and they just feel terrible about it. And it kinda runs a theme throughout the rest of the book. To really dive into that whole story, I recommend you read the book, The Log from the Sea of Cortez. But to commemorate that moment, we've asked the guys at Ventana to build us a veneered inlay out of old hall planking and framing that once the deck gets laid later this summer or in the fall, we'll actually route it into the deck to kind of commemorate that moment in time. Like I mentioned in the opener, this last sequence is David's daughter building her own board. She got a little coaching along the way, but after looking through all the footage, I think she did most of the work herself. I don't know how much woodworking experience she had prior to this project, but when the board was done, it looked fantastic.
Hey, that's it for this week's episode. And I sure hope you got some inspiration out of this one. So the next time you're taking a load of wood to the dump for maybe your boat project or your house remodeling project, or maybe you're cleaning out the woodworking shop and you're taking all that scrap wood to the firewood bin, take a moment and plane off one of those surfaces. You never know what you might find. There's always a few gems holding right below the surface. And I'll make sure I put some links to all the players involved in this episode for sure. Our website, my Instagram account, the Ventana website, so you can buy one of these hoodies if you want. And I'll definitely put a link to the Ventana Instagram account. David posts ferociously, nearly every day. He puts little vignettes on there, little videos, time lapses. I think you'll really enjoy checking it out. But until next week, thanks for watching. Never do this without safety gear, kids.